Welcome to the Here's My Story channel. I'm Lucy. My dad was about to toss a coin he was holding in his hand. He turned to my sister and me. All right, young ladies, tell me, heads or tails? My sister Violet said with her usual brattiness, why do we need to toss a coin? I want that room. Don't you love me? My mom couldn't stand seeing her favorite daughter sad. Honey, how can you say that? Of course we love you. We love you so much, she said as she turned to look at me. Lucy, why don't you accommodate your little sister? Let her have the room she wants. Actually, Violet is only three years younger than me, but my mom always acts like she's the princess of the castle. She always favors her like she's doing right now. First off, I need to explain why my dad was tossing that coin. My dad inherited a house from his grandmother. My parents decided to move into this new house to get out of paying rent. The house is big enough for both Violet and I to have our own rooms. But while one of the rooms has a lake view, the other one faces a high garden wall. The room with the nice view is quite large and gets a lot of sunlight. The other room is dark, small, and smells like mold. My sister <laughs> wanted the room with the view. I disagreed, of course. My dad said, let's do a coin toss. The winner takes the room with the view, suggesting a fair solution. As you have just witnessed, Violet opposed this coin toss method for picking rooms, and my mom stood by her daughter as usual. Thankfully, my dad is not like my mom. He doesn't play favorites between his daughters. Violet, don't be like that. We will toss this coin and whoever wins will take the room with the view, he said, and looked at me. Heads or tails? Tails, I replied. My dad said, then it's heads for Violet. He then proceeded to toss the coin up in the air. The coin flipped and flipped and dropped between Violet and me. I looked at the coin and screamed with joy. Tails! My sister said, I was actually going to call Tails, you tricked me! And began sobbing. Violet cried crocodile tears for a long time to try to get the room. My mom pressured me by saying, Lucy, please don't make your sister cry anymore. You're the big sister. Act like it. Violet wasn't about to calm down, so I couldn't take it any longer. Even though I had won the other room fair and square, I moved into that small, dark, and smelly room. In the following days, I directed all my rage to the room itself. I hated it because this whole thing was unfair to me, and it was the worst room in the house. That's why I spent time in other parts of the house or went to visit my friends. My room was only for sleeping. One night, I turned off the lights and went to bed. I was about to fall asleep. There's a new girl in class. Whenever a new iPhone comes out, she goes and gets it. She had done it again. We gathered around her admiring the new iPhone. I'm using my dad's old phone. I wish I had a phone like that, I said. I fell asleep thinking about it. I woke up with the smell of mold in my nose. No matter how much I aired the room, the stink wouldn't go away. This damn room, I said while opening the window. When I turned around, I noticed a box on my bedside table. It was a brand new iPhone. No way! What in the world? I screamed. Why did they get me an iPhone? My birthday was five months away. Wait a minute. Is this one of Violet's pranks? I said. I held the box. The packaging looked real. Still, I was cautious as I opened it. It was not a prank. It really was a brand new iPhone. I ran upstairs to ask my mom, but there was no one home. My parents had left for work. I remembered that Violet was at a sleepover at her friend's. At that moment, I realized I wasn't holding the phone in my hand anymore, but I had left the room with it. Where did this phone go? I came back to my room. The box was still there, but the phone was gone. I looked for the phone in all the places I just walked through. It was gone. Once again, I searched for it in my room and around the whole house. It was nowhere to be found. I just lost a wonderful iPhone somewhere in the house. It made no sense at all. Was I dreaming? I pinched my arm to see if it was going to hurt. Well, it did, so I was awake. But what was happening? I sat down on my bed. I put my hands over my eyes and began to cry. At the same time, I was saying to myself, where is the phone? I wish I never lost it. It was such a great phone too. As I looked around to grab some tissues, I saw another box sitting in the same spot. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was another brand new iPhone. I couldn't touch it at first because I was scared. Am I losing my mind? I mumbled. Nervously, I opened the box again. The new phone was shiny. <laughs> my fear was gone. I didn't know what was going on, but the phone I was holding in my hand was real. 
I turned it on immediately and started setting it up. I took out the SIM card from my old phone and inserted it into the new one. I was so excited, I just had to tell someone. I video called a friend. Bro, something weird happened, I said. I hadn't had breakfast yet. I decided to get something to eat from the kitchen. I said to my friend, don't freak out, but I'm going to tell you something wild. As soon as I said this, I left my room and something incredible happened at that moment. The phone suddenly vanished from my hand. I screamed in fear. I looked incredulously at my hands first, then around me. The phone had literally disappeared. I ran back into my room in a panic. So the first phone must have vanished the same way, but I didn't realize how it had happened. I had a crazy idea. Trembling, I said, I wish I had a brand new iPhone. Oh my God. As soon as I finished that sentence, a new phone emerged in the same spot where I'd found the previous two phones. I was so excited that I almost forgot to breathe. I had to try one more thing, but I was hesitant. Anxiously, I picked up the phone. I went out the door, holding the box. The phone vanished. Yes, it simply vanished. Even though I was expecting this to happen, I was still scared when it did. This is so wild. What is going on? So wild. I kept repeating to myself for a while. When I calmed down, I went back to my room. I looked around amazed. This room is making my wishes come true, but I can't take these things out of here. When I try, they just disappear, I said. Even though that sounded impossible, this was exactly what was happening. I didn't go to school that day. No one was home, so I was going to enjoy my wish-granting room. I started out by wishing for small things at first. I was hungry, so I said, wouldn't it be fantastic to have some nice pancakes? Ta-da! Just like that, the pancakes were there. I want some hot chocolate with them, I said. A cup of hot chocolate emerged right next to the pancake. This was the weirdest, scariest, but also the most fun thing ever. As I was having my breakfast, I continued to make wishes. I want a MacBook Air. I want a really nice yellow backpack. I want a Nintendo Switch. I want the world's most expensive perfume. By the end of breakfast, I had a bunch of wonderful things. I screamed with glee. Thank you, wonderful room. I'm sorry I hated you in the beginning. I had a nagging question, though. Should I tell my family about this room? I actually would love to show my room to Violet. She had manipulated the situation by crying and taken the nice room for herself. But there was something she didn't know. The room she didn't want was making all my wishes come true. I'm sure she'd be so jealous if she found out about that. Still, there was an issue with the scenario. She could manipulate her way into taking this room as well. This kind of thing was her expertise, so I didn't think I could beat her at it. After some consideration, I decided not to mention the room to Violet at all. That meant I couldn't mention it to my parents either. Ideally, I would like my dad to enjoy the benefits of having this room. But if it had to stay a secret, then even my dad couldn't know about it. The next morning when I woke up, I thought I had dreamed it all. But when I took a quick peek around, I saw all the things I had wished for. I was so happy to see it wasn't all a dream. The laptop was sitting on my desk. I looked at the iPhone on my bedside table. It was still there. There was a bottle of expensive perfume right next to it, and it smelled incredibly good. I ran into my sister, Violet, on the way to the bathroom. Suddenly, I had the urge to hug her. That took her by surprise. What's going on? She asked. I just wanted to hug you, I said. Okay, but why? She asked, and I went into the bathroom without oh. answering. She couldn't hear me anymore. Why? Because thanks to you, I have a room that grants my every wish, I said, <laughs> laughing. When I went back to my room, I had an oh. idea. Someone could walk in while I wasn't there and see all of this. Then my secret would be out. I said, I want everything that I wished for to disappear. And as soon as I did, everything disappeared. What was the secret about this room? Did it have to do with witchcraft? Or was it magic? Who built this room? Was there anyone else before me who used it? Had my dad's grandmother been aware of the powers of this room? How are my wishes being granted? Was the room doing all this by itself? Or were these things flying in from somewhere? I mean, when I asked for an iPhone, was the iPhone leaving an Apple store and arriving in my room? These last few thoughts worried me a little because this could be considered stealing. It was better not to think about the room anymore. Instead, I should enjoy its services. I wanted pizza for breakfast. I want a margarita from Italy's best pizzeria, I said. 
The second I finished my sentence, there was a steaming hot, delicious pizza in front of me. It's been six months since I discovered my room is making my wishes come true. No one in my family knows about it. Once, my dad said, you're spending too much time in your room. A girl your age should be socializing. I'm worried about you. I started socializing more so as not to draw any more attention. But whenever I go out, I actually can't wait to get back to my room. I run straight to my dear magical room as soon as I can. What would you wish for if you had a room like mine? Can you give me some ideas? But remember, you can't take anything outside. And also keep in mind that the room is not very big. Once I said, I want a Ferrari, just to see what would happen. I got a miniature Ferrari that was produced as a collector's item. That means when I wish for something big, the room grants me the wish, but it also adjusts the dimensions accordingly. If you like my story, I can make another video about my room in the future. Please let me know in the comments. Goodbye!